The two-year-long marathon of starters appearing in seven-star terror raids pushes forward in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with its latest entry, seven-star Grass Terra Superior. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you animals. We are almost done with the starters. Then it will be finally time for seven-star Coraidon and Miraidon to appear in seven-star terror raids. But until then, we got a uh, superior. I want to give a quick shout out to a Danimal and one of my biggest supporters, Shadow, for giving me the idea for the Del Fox build featured in this video. Now, before we talk about how we're going to beat Superior, we need to talk a little bit about Superior itself. Superior is an all around really solid Pokemon. Its stats aren't really going to wow you anywhere. It's pretty fast and has a solid bulk with a defense of 95 and a special defense of 95. Until we know the moveset, we don't really favor special attackers or physical attackers going into this raid. The most interesting thing about Superior is its hidden ability Contrary. Contrary is one of my favorite Pokemon abilities, and contrary to popular belief, I do not have a joke ready for Contrary. But it's a really fun ability, it uh, reverses the effects of any stat lowering and stat raising moves. That means it's going to make moves uh, like Swords Dance lower your attack by two stages instead of raising it, and it's going to make things like Acid Spray, instead of lowering the, the target's special defense by two stages, raise it by two stages. The key to defeating Superior will either be removing the ability Contrary or using it to our advantage. Superior can make the most use out of the Contrary ability with the move Leaf Storm. It hits like a ton of bricks and it normally harshly lowers the target special attack by two stages, but for Contrary Superior, that will raise its special attack by two stages. The damage is gonna get out of hand fast here unless you can remove the Contrary ability. I have no idea what other moves Superior is going to pack for this Terror Raid, especially because Superior is going to be Terra-type Grass, and Grass has five weaknesses to cover, Bug, Fire, Flying, Ice, and Poison, so Superior has its work cut out for it. In addition from having five weaknesses, Grass is weak against a whopping seven types, so this shouldn't be, shouldn't be one of the more difficult Terror Raids, and surely this will age well. Now that we know what we're up against, let's take a look at some builds that you can use in online group raids to take down 7 Star Superior. Make sure to check back with the channel after the Superior Raid starts, and I will have a video build and guide how you can easily solo 7 Star Superior. These full builds, they're all going to be in the description, but I'm going to go through and briefly talk a little bit about each of them right now. Up first is a build I'm super excited about because of the combination of Skill Swap and Overheat. Skill Swap is going to give Superior the ability Blaze to power up its fire type moves, which it does not have, and we will get Contrary, which as we talked about, it, uh, it flips the effect of stat raising and lowering moves, so that means Overheat is going to sharply increase Delphox's special attack. Combine this with Sunny Day for an extra 50% damage boost, and we're going to be hitting for some pretty huge damage. We can do Mystical Fire to charge our Terra Orb and debuff Superior's special attack. Bonus points if you use your Delphox the Unrivaled from the 7-star Delphox raids last year. Up next is going to be an effective mixed support attack Pokemon for group raids. Frostmoth is not going to be able to solo, but it is Terra Ice and use of the Shell Bell held item for some recovery. It's going to be particularly effective if Superior only uses special attacking moves. That ability Ice Scale halves all the damage from incoming special attacking moves. I feel like I just said special attacking moves a lot, but that's fine. Uh, we can further increase our special defense with Quiver Dance while increasing our attack power. And then once we throw up Snowscape, Blizzard will not miss, and we can also use Aurora Veil to half all of the incoming damage for not only Frostmoth, for our allies, but that's going to make this Moth a really effective support Pokemon and helping all your teammates become a tank. The real drawback to this build is it has no way to deal with Superior's ability Contrary, but as you see on this list and other builds out there, most builds have something already like a Skill Swap, a Gasherath, and something to take care of Contrary, so in group raids, not everything needs to pack it. But again, communication is key. So join my live streams, join my Discord to raid with the Danimal Kingdom. Another build, another terror type that is super effective against grass. This time it is Bug. Our spider is going to use the metronome held item to boost our attack power when we use moves in a row because we're using Leech Life. This is the key to this build. Deals great damage and restores our HP at the same time. This build will be familiar to anyone who took down 7 Star Mewtwo last August. With Mew, we have that Leech Life and Struggle Bug combo. Struggle Bug's gonna charge our Terra Orb. Once our Terra Orb's charged, we can power up with Swords Dance and Leech Life for huge damage. The fun part about this build though is we can focus the energy to increase our odds of landing a critical hit because we have the ability Sniper. So our critical hits are even stronger. 
This is another group attacking build, and just like Frostmoth, it can't handle Superior's contrary ability on its own. So don't use Struggle Bug until one of your teammates uses something to get rid of Superior's contrary ability. Otherwise, you're just going to power up Superior, and that's bad for business. Last but not least, we have the fourth different Terra type on this list. It is a Terra Poison Victory Bell, going back to the old Shell Bell for some recovery. This build is based around using Gastro Acid to negate that contrary ability. So we can acid spray at will to sharply lower superior's special defense stat at which point we'll switch over to sludge wave for some big old damage and once we poison head over to veno shock to have its base power doubled from 65 to 130. i'm not sure if this build will be tanky enough to solo but it should do a million damage in group raids let me know in the comments what you are building to take down seven star superior and if you enjoyed this video please consider dropping a like leaving a comment or using sludge wave on that subscribe button for more dance squared Thanks for watching and happy superior season.